hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to my euro trip slash new york slash connecticut vlog um vlogging is very hard i honestly did not remember to vlog for the time that i was overseas but i did manage to put together some reels so if you already follow me on instagram and um, my instagram handle is the same as uh, my youtube which is miss island spice uh, same with tiktok um but tiktok is basically me posting my dogs or just like the odd um tiktok sound you know so it doesn't really have it doesn't follow the same theme as my youtube or it's not as you know personal or as frequent as my instagram but you can check out both either way um so yeah i went to europe with um, a group of friends it was six of us at one point and then it um, went down to four because two of them went off to Switzerland which is also on my um, bucket list and then for New York I have a cousin who got married in Connecticut and I had to go through JFK anyway so I was like hmm, let me just stay in New York for a few days um, as most Bajans and most Caribbean people like my first trip out of Barbados was New York so I've been when I was I want to say maybe seven or eight that sort of age and then i went back when i was 18 and other than that i have not been to new york i don't remember much about it so it was it was new i was a full tourist so i'm not comfortable with the trains or the buses or anything like that but next time i'm going to use the train and the buses more and get you know a bit more accustomed so let's take it back from the top past i Cardi. um so from the top um, i will start with my um euro trip I would have started in London. We did Rome and we also did Mallorca. If you are new to the channel, I actually lived in Birmingham for seven years. I would have worked slash studied there. So London wasn't that new to me because I would have, you know, been to London a few times. Um, but Mallorca and Rome for sure were. Um, to start with Rome, and I'll insert a snippet of my reel here, which I'm still getting used to, so just bear with me. Um, but with Rome, I did most of that by foot. Rome is absolutely beautiful. See those buildings in person, the architecture, mwah, bellissimo. It was lovely, the food was amazing. Um, my highlight for Italy was um, the pasta making class. Even though I do not like cooking, I actually hate cooking. Um, it was still... It was still an experience because I mean when in Rome I I just had to um so we made um, pasta from scratch which is not hard like it's not a lot of ingredients but the physical work of like rolling out the dough mm -mm. a lot of people in the class were like yeah I'm gonna do it again for sure I'm gonna make pasta this way mm -mm. and I was there looking around like is it just me that is never gonna do this again and I literally just did this because I was in Italy um but yeah italy was amazing um we had an amazing airbnb i actually airbnb my way all over europe i think if you're traveling in a group it's definitely more value for money versus if you're traveling like as a couple or maybe two or three people then i think a hotel it it worked out more or less the same if you're traveling in in smaller numbers um for mallorca um Again, very beautiful architecture. I got to practice me espanol. Hola. Um, I did I did do Spanish in school and university. And then I was really loyal and diligent with Duolingo. So I would say that I am maybe intermediate. As in, I can hold a conversation. I can understand if you speak mas lente por favor if you speak a little slowly despacito i can hold a conversation but if but i wouldn't say i'm advanced or i'm fluent i would love to be and i let me manifest this but i will live in a spanish-speaking country one day and become fluent i actually have a friend who lived in cuba for i think a couple years because she studied there and she became fluent like that I also have a friend in Panama. Um, I don't know if she's fluent yet, but you know, being surrounded in the, in a language is like one of the best ways um, to learn it. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I liked, I loved Mallorca. It wasn't on my bucket list per se, but it was kind of like thrown out in the group chat, and I was like, oh, why not? Um, then um, we 
we basically circled back to London. I stopped in Birmingham. I had to. And I visited a few of my friends. And it was a whirlwind. I wish that. I had more time because while I have four weeks vacation, I can't take all four weeks at one time. I need to break it up. So the most I can take at one time is two weeks. But I honestly would have loved to do three weeks in Europe, if not four, because then I could have squeezed in at least two, maybe three more cities. And the thing about the Euro trip is like once you get to to London or once you get to any of the other European countries, it is so cheap to get around it is dirt cheap like most of my flights were around like 40 50 us to like hop across to the different cities versus going from barbados to london so that definitely took up the chunk of my um of my expenditure i kind of regret um not traveling europe more when i was studying but i am i'm not too hard on myself because a student budget versus the budget of somebody who's 35 you know what I mean? But um, I definitely want to do a Euro trip part two. I have a long bucket list. Um, I do love traveling. I don't think I would have mentioned it much on here. Uh, but I'll just put a little snippet of where I've been to so far. My bucket list is wide open. Like I'm literally done for most things. But at the top of my list right now, I can think of for sure is just Asia in general. So like Bali, um, Thailand. I would like to go to Cambodia. I have a friend who lived there for six years and she has her own hostel there and everything and she has a bakery there so for sure I want to go to those places. I for sure would do Italy again. Um, one of the things I kind of underestimated was how big Italy was and I know that might sound a bit silly um, coming from, well, for my viewers are like from America or from Europe etc. Um, but growing up in Barbados, growing up on an island, anything further than like 20 minutes is like ooh, like you live far or Barbados, so you live behind God back. So when I was Googling like from our Airbnb, when I was Googling like Amalfi Coast and Venice and it was like five hours away, four hours away, I was like, pause. So that's something that was kind of factored in later, later on, but I still had a blast in Rome. I did most of Rome um, by foot. So for sure, um, next time I would have to factor in like maybe renting a car and you know then it'll be a little easier um, to get to those far away um, places while keeping the cost down. Um, I should also mention that we well my friend and I from Barbados we backpacked through Europe so I left my bags my suitcases I should say at my friend in London and then we just travel light throughout Europe. I'm not a big makeup person because I actually found it interesting like when I had my little zip lot with the toilet trees and you know airport was like do you have makeup do you have makeup and i was like no i had my lashes done um right before i traveled so i literally just used to put on lip gloss and a little eyeliner and that was it that is like my go-to everyday style i do not wear makeup as an everyday thing um i had my hair in braids which i did myself it wasn't it has a passion twist look, but the bag was actually Ghana twist. I'm just going to insert a quick clip of me doing it. It was very easy. I used the rubber band method that I uh, followed on YouTube, hashtag YouTube University, baby. And it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it. I wanted it to be fuller and I wanted to be able to wear it in like a bob. But it came out kind of stringy and straggly. And even though the hair was the same length, you know, when I started twisting, some were hair, some were long. It's only after the fact that I spoke to a friend who does hair for a living and she was, she gave me a few tips on how to twist it again. I have a whole pack of hair that I can try again at a later date and I will definitely be trying that again. So in closing, because I basically starting to wrap up now and I'll leave like a few tips. Um, I was very surprised that the majority of my trip was cashless. Um, so I have a debit and I have a credit card. However, first things first, my credit card was compromised literally right before I traveled, but I still had a debit card as backup. And in general, you're supposed to travel with, you know, two, maybe two or three different forms of currency. So I was fine. However, I hardly, hardly use cash in the UK specifically. Most of the restaurants that I went to were completely cashless in that, like you literally could not even pay with cash. Meaning that like I had to, in some instances, download an app, 
add my card details and order through the app and everything which was actually very convenient because then you don't have to deal with the waiter or the waitress you just place the order and you wait so like you ever go in a restaurant and then there's like a huge table and you're like damn like you're trying to get your order in before then so when you do that cashless method you can come in you can order ahead and you know you you know that your food is coming you know that you got your order in before them so that was interesting um to me because i know a lot of people who still aren't au fait with like using their card for everything or tapping um so that was definitely a culture shock for me outside of that um group travel is not for the week i nothing against my friends or anything it's just there were some parts that were is that you have to try to find something that everybody can do you have to find make sure that everybody's aligned on certain things however we definitely branched out and we did our own things on certain days and uh, so i would just say make sure that you're traveling with a group that is flexible in that way and when you are planning ahead plan rest days plan rest days because at the end of the day you're still on vacation you want to relax you don't want to be up up every every single morning you have to be up early we have to catch a train we have to get this tax we have to get there for this tour then you kind of feel sort of rush so include rest days especially in Rome. oh my god my legs my poor legs at least in london we had the train in between you know when we were traveling to certain places but Rome, we were literally walking around the entire day i actually lost weight on vacation which is good because i was eating i was eating so much i was eating so much crap but yolo i'm not gonna go overseas i'm not gonna be in rome and mallorca and order no salad i'm sorry um but that is pretty much it i hope i covered anything if you have any questions drop it down below and stay tuned for the next video bye